These candy wafers come in eight different flavors. The original roll has a random assortment of 38 pieces. Part of the fun is seeing how many of your favorite flavors you get. This factory makes one flavor at a time. The first step is to add food coloring and flavoring to pulverized sugar. This pink color and mint flavoring produces a wintergreen taste. Corn syrup comes next, along with a binding solution of vegetable gums and gelatin dissolved in water. After mixing for about eight minutes, the candy dough's consistency is checked. Workers divide the dough into chunks, then feed them into a dough sheeter. They're pushed through a slot forming a dough sheet that's 20 inches wide by about an inch thick. A steady sprinkle of cornstarch prevents the sheet from sticking to the equipment. Rollers compress and stretch the dough forward, flattening the sheet to an inch thick. The next station stamps on the company logo, then cuts out the wafers. The conveyor belt moves the wafers to a multi-level tunnel dryer. They pass through the dryer 13 times over the course of an hour. Once out of the dryer, the wafers pile up in trays without sticking. Workers stack the trays in a drying room. It's heated and humidified with steam. The candy wafers stay here until their moisture level drops to between 0.75 and 1%. The factory tests a few samples using a device called a penetrometer. It measures the force required to penetrate the candy wafer to the point of breaking it. This ensures the candies are the correct consistency. When the trays come out of the drying room, workers send the candies to the packaging line. The colors are mixed together, ensuring every roll of candy has a random assortment of flavors. Workers grab about two rolls worth, then fill two channels of a feeder that takes them to the wrapping station. Another worker fills in the gaps, ensuring each roll has 38 pieces. The wrapping machine cuts printed translucent paper wrapping and applies a bead of glue to one edge. In a matter of seconds, the machine lifts the roll into the wrapper, seals the edges, and twists the ends closed.